Hello, students. Today, we'll be discussing how to add sound to the game because sound is essential. So, let's start with some not so exciting preparation. The first thing we need to do is add several speaker objects to the scene. To be more precise, we need six of them. Place them outside the camera's view and arrange them in a row. Here's a list of events that will trigger sound playback. Shooting, hitting an asteroid, the explosion of a large asteroid, the explosion of a small asteroid, damage to the spaceship, and the spaceship's explosion. I suggest not renaming the speakers, as it won't add any order, but it might introduce various bugs. We will load our audio files from the sound folder into each speaker. Let's start with the first speaker. Go to the speaker's sound properties, click the open button, and find the relevant sound file in the sound folder. For the first speaker, connect the hit big file. For the second speaker, use the hit med file. Do the same for the remaining four speakers, connecting the hit small, plasma, player damage, and player destroy files to them. With that, our preparation is complete. Let's move on to everyone's favorite, coding. For sound control, we will use just one block called play sound and it can do everything we need. Now, let's start with the sound of a shot. Where should we play it? I think right after the projectile has been fired from the barrel. The plasma spawn occurs in the logical branch player fire. Find the spot immediately after spawning and adding to the collection of plasma. Connect the play sound block. In the sound selection field, choose the file named plasma. That's it. Now, after launching the game, each shot will be accompanied by the sound of a gunshot. Pretty cool, right? If you don't like the volume of the sound, you can change it using the volume parameter on the play sound block. One unit means full volume. If you change it to 0.5, the sound will be played at half its volume. Now, let's move on. Where should we insert the sound of hitting an asteroid? It makes sense to do it in the plasma collision branch. Let's plug it in at the end of the branch. Choose the hit small file for it. The next two sounds we need to insert into the rock collision branch. If a large asteroid is destroyed, before spawning three new ones, play the hit big sound. In this block, I think we should check the retrigger option. It allows us to play the sound again, even if it hasn't finished playing yet. This will be useful in case we destroy asteroids too quickly and the interval between two explosions is shorter than the explosion sound itself. Copy this block and paste it immediately after the condition for medium-sized asteroids. Change the file to hit MED. Now, let's attach the sound to the spaceship. We need the player collision branch. Find the place where the spaceship takes damage, after which we spawn a small explosion. Right after this, add the play sound block and select the player damage sound. Activate the retrigger checkbox. Next, go to the point where the life falls below zero and add another play sound block in parallel with sending the game over message. Choose the player destroy sound. That's it. That's how you can add and configure sound for your project in just a few clicks. Now, our game has become quite playable and you can enjoy it. So, let's wrap up the activities for today. Goodbye.